now that we have studied the basics we can start to play around with our knowledge so uh, in the chapter of arithmetic progression we had evaluated the sum of first n natural numbers that is we had evaluated this expression summation of k k going from 1 to n that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to first n and this we had found to be equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2 so uh, you can refer to our last lecture for this one so in this uh, exercise today we want to ask the question can we find the sum of uh, square of first n natural numbers that is we have k square k from 1 to n which means 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and if you keep on adding until the first n natural number n square what is this expression going to be so there is a little trick to it to start with and once uh, we go through it you will uh, we will understand why we did this in the beginning so uh, if we start with this expression here let's say k cube minus k minus 1 whole cube so if you evaluate uh, this what will you get k cube minus a minus b whole cube that is a k cube minus 3 a square b that is 3 k square plus 3 a b square b here is 1 minus b cube this will be minus therefore k cube and k cube will get cancelled and the expression that you will be left with is 3k square minus 3k plus 1 so this is our expression for k cube minus k minus 1 whole cube now what we do is just start putting the values for k so k start from 1 2 3 and so on up to n into this expression so what will we get k is 1 therefore we have 1 cube minus 1 minus 1 is 0 0 cube this is equal to 3 times 1 square right minus 3 times 1 plus 1 similarly substitute k with 2 what will we get 2 cube minus 2 minus 1 is 1 cube 3 times 2 square minus 3 times 2 plus 1 you would start to get a feel of why we did this since we are getting here 1 square 2 square so if we just keep on adding this term we will reach to this term 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square so let us continue we have here 3 cube minus 3 minus 1 cube that is 2 cube and this will become here 3 times 3 square minus 3 times 3 plus 1 so if you keep on doing this till the time we reach the nth term what will we have we'll have n cube minus n minus 1 whole cube is equal to 3 times n square minus 3 times n plus 1 now if you just add all these equations so these are n equations since we are substituting from 1 to n so these are equation 1 2 3 and so on up to n now if we just add these equations so while adding it what happens is if you look closely this one cube and this thing 1 cube minus 1 cube gets cancelled out right so 1 cube minus 1 cube this thing gets cancelled out 2 cube minus 2 cube gets cancelled out similarly uh, if we would have here 4 cube minus 3 cube so 3 cube will also get cancelled out with 3 cube and so on if you continue then we will have n minus 1 cube here so this n minus 1 cube will also get cancelled out so in the end what will remain on the left hand side is everything gets cancelled out uh, uh, except this thing n cube here and this 0 cube here so what will we get is n cube minus 0 cube is equal to and now let's see what we get on the right hand side 
So on the right hand side, what will we have? We if we keep on adding these terms, the three we can take as common. Then it will be one square plus two square plus three square, and so on up to n square. So what will we get? Three times one square plus two square plus three square, and so on up to n square. So this is for this terms here. Now what happens with the second expression? Again, we can take minus three as common and what will we be adding? 1 plus 2 plus 3, so on up to n. So here we will have minus 3 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to n. And what will be with this thing here? We are just adding 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, n number of times. So here we will have n. Since we are adding 1, n number of times, so the sum will be n times 1 or n. Therefore, now what do we have? We have 3 n cube. And this is the sum that we wanted to find. So this is the sum of k square k from 1 to n. And what is this? This is sum of k for k from 1 to n plus n. So we know the expression for this term. It's equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. So what do we have here is n cube 3. Let me just represent this sum which we want to find as Sn. So what do we have here is minus 3 and this thing here is 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on up to n and we know the expression for that n times n plus 1 divided by 2 plus n. Now if we just write the expression for Sn taking everything on the other side what will we get n cube plus 3 times n n plus 1 divided by 2 this thing will get minus and this whole divide 1 divide 1 by 3 so this is the thing that we wanted to find this is the expression now we can just simplify it the way we could write it is 2 n cube right 2 n cube plus this will get 3 n square plus 3n square and then we will have 3n minus 2n that is plus n divided by 2. So this is our expression and if you one simplify if you simplify it a bit further what will you get here is 2n cube let's say we want to write it in a simplified manner so we can do this 2n square and this will be equal to 1 by 6 if you take 2n square as common you'll get n plus 1 plus if you take n common here you will again get n plus 1 here therefore in the end the expression that we will have here is sn is equal to 1 by 6 times if you take n plus 1 common here you will have 2n square plus n so n plus 1 times 2n square plus n and this we can write in simplified form as if we take n common here then n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 so this will be our expression for the sum let's have a recap of what we did so we set out to find the sum of this expression here that is the sum of square of first n natural numbers 1 square 2 square n square and so on and what we did is used a little trick we evaluated this expression here k cube minus k minus 1 whole cube and why did we do that because when we evaluate this expression here we get something like this here 3k square minus 3k plus 1 now the trick is you just start substituting the values from 1, 2, 3, so on up to n. So in that what will happen is you have 1 cube minus 0 cube is equal to 3 times 1 square minus 3 times 1 plus 1. So this expression here, this terms, if you keep on adding it, you will get your 1 square plus 2 square, so on up to n square. In the second term, it will keep on adding to 1 plus 2 plus 3, so on up to n, right? And on the left hand side, what happens is the these terms keeps getting cancelled out and in the end you will be left with n cube 
and therefore in here it just boils down to now we already know the expression for this this thing here n times n plus 1 by 2 and we can just simply evaluate for this sum here just write what we did the sum that we had calculated in arithmetic progression chapter the sum of first n natural numbers that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on up to n and this was very simple n times n plus 1 divided by 2 and here what we did in today's lecture was finding the sum of squares of first n natural numbers that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on up to n square and this evaluated it to be n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6 now in our next lecture we will try to find the sum of cubes of natural numbers from 1 to n that is what will 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube and so on up to n cube where how do we evaluate this you can think about it